they may well be stories that are sweet, or they may well be stories that are more like this one. Um, you know, but it's just it's just about telling good stories. Still play okay. World of Warcraft? Yes, I do. <laughs> My husband's shouting left lane to you, but I wouldn't want to show him. So, is the film locked? And the reason I'm asking is that when we need a distribution, I'm sure we're all hoping that the studio doesn't tweak it or mess it up completely. Um, so, is it ready to go packaged and going to be out soon? Um, I hope it will be out the first quarter of next year. And, um, the movie is, I'd say, the cut of about 90% there. The thing which is going to sort of, which is taking time is getting the music right, because everything we put on it just makes the music dated very quickly. But we've got the guy that did all, all the music for uh, Romeo and Juliet and Camino Rouge and came aboard three of the biggest bands. We've just watched the film and said they're going to write music for it, so it's going to have a, hopefully a kick ass soundtrack, and then if the studio buys it, then we'll be out. But are they going to muck around with it? No. I can say that now. They won't buy it for one. I might be slightly biased, but I've seen it twice now and it's like my favourite film this year. <laughs> and I watched it on the plane yesterday on the way out here and I was actually showing bits to the stewards. Like you know, I was so enthused about it, it was great. So I've, I've seen so many shit films this year that it was great seeing something great, so there's no way that we mess with it. They might not try, but that's our job. Did the stewardess work for Sony or something? Check your drinks after that. Hi, this is for John Rubina Jr. I was wondering how was your experience working on an animated sequence for the film? Uh, because of Matthew, it's pretty much like I've been working on with the book, and that's what he wanted. He wanted it to be true to the comic, and the the effort was to not act as if I'm working on animation, just work as if I'm working on the book. They wanted it to be true to the comic, and that's what he's done. So it's it's pretty much uh, business as usual for me. It's a real, in this case, it's a pleasure. All right, uh, first of all, Mark, you're like my favorite comic writer ever. Uh, thanks so much for coming out here. Uh, you wrote my first comic that I ever read, so, yeah. Anyway, my question, um, is uh, when uh, will we see the end of whatever story Kick-Ass is, you know, it's just for John and Mark, uh, when we'll see the story complete in the comics? I sort of had this idea of it being a trilogy, like, like three movie deals. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but I actually saw sort of three, uh, three graphic novels, and, uh, you know, if it goes beyond that, you know, it, it just means I've given us you know, but at the moment, right now, yes, yeah, there's three books. Uh, but then again, Spider-Man, you know, like, it's a similar kind of thing, it's about a young guy and they do the situation, so there's new ideas when they come. But at the moment, I think three would be nice, and then Johnny and I can then create something else. Yeah, I'm halfway through the final issue. If, if you really need to know, are you one of the editors of <laughs> I'm halfway through the final issue, mercifully, because I've been taking too long now. I'm kind of curious, how many people in here read the comic? Like, <laughs> That's a lot of royalties, that's good. <laughs> We're running out of time, but I've got to ask, Chloe, what the hell were you doing? How did you train for that? How much training did you do? Um, well, I had about three months of training uh, with martial artists, you know, top of the line stunt coordinators. I probably learned stuff on them for the rest of my life. <laughs> I definitely, you know, it was an amazing opportunity working with everybody who's here today and who's not here today and you know, it was an honor being in Matthew and Mark and everybody's movie that's here today. Well, it's an absolutely amazing sequence and I've been lucky enough to see it a few times since we decided that you guys were coming down here this year um, and, and uh, as far as over here watching it over and over again would you guys like to see the trailer again before we take <laughs>